Move it, move it. Good morning in Monaga. Like Good morning in Montpelier, home of the Martins. Thank you for making KFGO number one in the morning, number one all day long. The KFGO morning crew, Doug Lear, Bonnie Masati. Getting your Tuesday set for you. And Tuesdays around 740, we like to bring in licensed registered dietitian Elizabeth McGee. If you guys have any questions for her, you can call the Laney Studio Lines right now, 237-5948 or 1-800-880-5346. You can also text in your questions to 35270. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hello. I think I found a more confusing section in the grocery store. It used to be that yogurt. I'd stand there and my eyes would get glossed over. I'm like... I don't know, just grab yogurt and go. Agree. The next section that kind of had me wrapped around the axle was the granola section. Yeah. Because you go to a granola section and you can have granola and and you just start looking and go, and and I've listened to you. Yes. And just Mm -hmm. having granola doesn't mean you're making a healthy choice. (laughs) No, it totally does not mean that you're making a healthy choice. What are some red lights? When you're looking at a granola, you go, whoa, hold the phone. We're not taking that. Or what are some things to look for in a good choice for granola? So I would, for granola, the biggest thing to look at, and no one is going to want to think that this information is real, but look at the serving size because it's really, really small. I mean, it's a fourth of a cup sometimes, a third of a cup maybe, and it still is a really calorie-dense food. Good calories. Um, So I would just look at serving size depending on what you're doing. Because if you're just sprinkling a little bit in your yogurt, you know, probably not a big deal. But if you're eating it maybe as a cereal or something in the morning, um, uh, if you it, maybe you're having two cups. That's going to be a lot. So I would look at that. I would look at sugar. Um, if you have diabetes, of course, you're going to be looking at the carbs in there too. There is, you're right though, there is a ton to look for Yeah. in granola. I use it like you had suggested topping it on yogurt because I love granola, but I, like you, read oh, labels and know how it, Same, you know. and I could go buck wild on granola because it's like delicious because so some yeah. of them are so good because they're sugary and it's crunchy. Mm-hmm. It's so mm-hmm. good. So how many servings is a handful? Well, because when you talk about a third of a cup, a quarter of a cup, how many people actually? Yeah, no one is getting out a measuring cup, probably. Yeah, um, I do. I mean, I used I'm to weird. too, but I, you know, whatever. So if you measure something like in the palm of your hand and you have a good full amount and your hand is, you know, fairly regular size, it's almost a cup. So a handful would be like, and if you, you could use that kind of same thing for like uh, grab a handful of peanuts. Right, and you would be overdoing it on your serving of peanuts because a cup of peanuts is a lot of... Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that we can't eat it. I know I can easily eat it, but um, again, you know, nuts are calorie-dense food. So just be mindful and maybe get crazy and measure something just to shock yourself. Everybody's rolling their eyes. (laughs) Not me. I measure everything. Doug's looking up measuring cups on Amazon right now (laughs) on a travel kit. You're going to tell people to balance their checkbook too next. (laughs) (laughs) Let's not do that. Definitely. Licensed registered dietitian Elizabeth McGee is here. If you have any questions for her, you can call the Laney Studio Lines, 237-5948, 1-800-880-5348. Or six text in three five two seven zero. Well, February is a uh, Heart Health Month, and you brought up granola. You brought up peanuts. Are those good, healthy heart choices? They are. Granola would be a whole grain. There's hopefully some healthy fats in your granola. Um, nuts are always a good choice for a snack. But like I said, just watch how many you're eating because it's super easy to overdo that. So those are really good heart healthy snacks. And really, we shouldn't be focusing on heart health just this month all year long. But diet for heart health, it's nothing crazy. And it's what I say every time I'm here. More fruits, more vegetables, more lean proteins. Focus on healthy fats um, and just control your portions, control your weight. So it's, <laughs> it's easier I said know, than done. It is easier said than done. And, you know, it sounds like it should be so easy, but... When it comes down to it, it's hard to make good choices. So the stuff that you're suggesting here, the healthy stuff, you know, the the fruits, the veggies, the fish, the the nuts, the grains, basically the Mediterranean it diet? It is like the Mediterranean diet and focusing on getting those healthy fats in. You don't need to be on a low fat. You know, if, if heart health is your goal, you don't necessarily need to be on a low fat diet, but just focus on getting those healthier fats in your diet, whether it's, you know, cutting back on your butter and trying to use more olive oil, canola oil, um, or just finding a a different substitute that you like is is a lot of it has to do with portion control so many things are portion control it's it's crazy and it's like we were just talking about with granola and with peanuts you know we don't know what a serving size is a lot of us don't have a clue so it's educating yourself because it's really easy to oh, 
overeat. Sit so there and, easy. You know, there's a jar of peanuts on the lunchroom in the newsroom right now, a jar of honey roasted peanuts. It would be so easy to open that up and grab a big handful and grab and another big handful. And every time you walk by to grab more mm-hmm. and more and we think, well, it doesn't, I only had a few. Well, you walked by it eight times and you had a few <laughs> eight times. I mean, I know this because these are the things that I do. It's just human nature. We want to feed ourselves or something. Well, it's it comforting. Is, it tastes good. And it's like, oh yeah, okay. It's, you know, and it's, it's cold out. There's nothing else to yeah. do but find snacks. I imagine part of the uh, healthy heart equation also would include exercise. It, of course, includes yeah. includes exercise. Yeah. American Heart Association says 30 minutes a day. You can break it up. And it doesn't have to be some, like, you know, 30 minutes of sprints or 30 minutes of burpees. Just move your body more. Yeah, I'm going to say, what's exercise? So moving from the couch to the kitchen, if you do that and it adds up to 30 minutes, is that good? Some days I feel like that is my exercise. But, you know, try to get your heart rate up there a little bit, but just keep moving. They, you know, say sitting is the new smoking. So try to move more than you're sitting. And I've seen people talking about, um, you know, it's winter and obviously a lot of people are not exercising outside. They don't want to slip and fall. And maybe it's not convenient for them to go to the gym or they're unable to physically Mm -hmm. wise. But um, even if you like walk around your house, your kitchen, up and down the stairs, stuff like that helps. Multiple chips or trips on. Um, you know, putting the laundry away or whatever it is, take take the long route through the house. Yeah. Um, just get up more. And, you know, if you have access to Internet, there are quick little, you know, if you Google like five minute exercises, you're going to get so many options. So you could do that. Or even if you're watching TV, jumping jacks during commercials, you Jog, know, li- jogging in place. Yeah, is that good? Just little things like that, that, you know, we, we always hear, but nobody's really implementing. Try and do it. Just try to move more because it is important. Question about uh, desserts for diabetics. Somebody's wondering, Elizabeth, what would be a healthy dessert or some suggestions for them for diabetics? So my big thing with diabetes is always reinforcing. You can really eat anything that anybody else is eating, but you're going to have to be more mindful with your portion um you know a good dessert for any of us is of course some kind of like a fruit would be mm. a good dessert or i don't you know, think anybody thinks of no that one wants me to that's say not that. a dessert and that's something you should eat i know and then there's people that are waiting for me to say angel food cake because that was always the like but diabetic that's good dessert. is it that is. good or not for a diabetic it is but here's the thing so it's and here was why it was good for for people with diabetes because it's low in fat it still has carbs mm-hmm. so um I mean, a good snack, if you're wanting something sweet or something chocolatey, I mean, can you have like pudding or can you just have like a fun sized candy bar Mm -hmm. type situation? Just don't overdo it is the thing. And everybody with diabetes has certain things that they maybe just can't eat because it does spike your blood Mm -hmm. sugar. Um, So if you want to, okay, say a piece of cheesecake, we all know what a slice of cheesecake approximate size of that. So could they eat a half or a third of that? Would that be okay? Yeah, you. I would base it on what does your blood sugar do. So if you're checking your blood sugars, you know, see what happens when you eat. I have certain things like sugary cereal for me, like it's a no go. And if if anybody has made puppy chow, if I look at it, my blood sugar is 400. Oh. So just pay attention to what is your blood sugar going to do, what's being served, you know. And it might be that maybe you're just having a couple bites of it. And this goes for anybody. A lot of times we're satisfied with just a a few bites of certain things. But since it's sitting there, we don't want to waste. Well, no. And it's maybe a treat. So we think you should just have it. I remember volunteering at a nursing home when I was a kid growing up. And we used to serve some of the residents um, graham crackers with diabetes. Is graham crackers good? Or like Teddy Grahams, are those good for people with diabetes? Those are good too. And I mean, maybe you put a little peanut butter on them or, you know, like get a bowl of whipped cream and dip them in there. Is whipped cream a good thing? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's obviously in moderation. And are you making it from heavy whipping cream? Then you're really going to have to watch it. Okay. But if it's the other stuff, it could be something sweet um, that just kind of does the trick. Very good. All right. Thanks, Elizabeth. You're welcome. That's licensed registered dietitian Elizabeth Muggy. She joins us every Tuesday around 7.